Welcome back to another nuke for the nuke series. Today's nuke is going to be with the Fennec 45, which is also known as the Vector, and is probably argued by most people that this is the best weapon in the whole entire game. And to be honest, I agree with them. This thing is unbelievable. So today we are playing Hardpoint on Embassy. Uh, I did say last video that we'll change it up a little bit from shipment now, play something different. So here we are playing a bit of Embassy. Uh, I did also say that we're going to get a double nuke with a Fennec, but this is not a double nuke, this is a single nuke, but it's also a decently paced single nuke for the map that we've got. Um, so yeah, sorry about that. Um, so if you're new around here and you don't know what's going on, this is a series that I call the Nuke Series, where I'll be getting a nuke with every single weapon in the game, with the polyatomic cam on it, including launchers, stuff like that. Um, we've done SMGs now after this Fennec, we've done assault rifles, we've done pistols, so we've got all the rest of the categories in the game to do. Uh, obviously I'm going to do launchers last, because that's going to be very, very difficult. Um, I'll do melee weapons just before that category as well, so yeah, if you like the sound of that, consider subscribing, because um, yeah, it's going to be a hell of a grind. So for the streaks in this game, I was using UAV, counter UAV, and advanced UAV, the basic streaks that I usually always use for a streak. Uh, advanced UAV is probably the must-have in a map like this. This is just such a camper's map. Or maybe not even campers, it's just really quite hard to pinpoint where the enemies are. So the advanced UAV definitely helps out here. And as always, I will be putting my class setup and all that stuff in the description and at the end of the video. So if you do want to copy it, you can go ahead and do that. There is one thing I did want to say about this gun that I'm not happy with at all, right? We've got everything that's good about it. It's got good accuracy, very good fire rate, good time to kill, all that kind of stuff. Um, it's just it's a great great gun all around. But there's one issue that I just really don't like, and it's the reload time. It's so slow. It's probably because I've got an extended mag on it. Well, that obviously doesn't help, but it's just so slow. And obviously you've got a high fire rate, so you need to reload a lot more often. And uh, it's just really slow. And I really hate how the perks work. And you need to wait to get your sleight of hand. So at the start of the game, I usually never get a kill streak because I always die reloading because I haven't got my sleight of hand. And it takes me seven years to reload. I really, it's really annoying. But um, apart from the reload thing, this weapon is absolutely phenomenal. Honestly, this is the best vector I think we have ever, ever had. Um, well, I don't know. The one in COD Ghost was also really good. I don't know if you guys remember that. I'm pretty sure the vector in COD Ghost was the meta. Uh, that gun was very good. But no, nah, this is probably better. Um, it just looks a lot cleaner as well. Um, there's also another thing as well. Um, when you spawn into a game, you only get two clips. I'm not sure if that's every single gun. I'm sure it's just this gun. But, yeah, I've noticed you get 45 and then 45 in your reserves, which is, is if you don't have scavenger or um, an ammo box, what, what are you supposed to do? Anyway, we're coming to the end of the streak here. I know I was supposed to get a double, and this one's only a single, obviously. But I did try about five or six times, and I choked the double every single game. So I wasn't having much luck, so I ended up coming across this nuke. And I just thought it was pretty decently paced for a map like this. So I thought it was, it was alright. So anyway, you saw the MGB there. Double nuke or single nuke, either way, this gun is top tier. It's It's got to be the best gun in the game. If not, maybe the RPK, but either way, it's up there with the best guns in the game. So if you want a good build for it, try my build. My build is very solid. If you're new around here and you do like the look of what I do and you want to see more of it, then consider subscribing because it would help me out a lot. I've got plenty of content on the way. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.